Welcome back everyone, this is Arafelon playing Zeta's World. We are going through some of the super secret stages now. There's the one here that is new that I didn't really get anywhere in. Uh, there's also the one over here, which I went back and got the last gem in by... I think I used low gravity for that, because I couldn't do the jump otherwise. But yeah, let's take a look in this one again. Yeah, this is where you're supposed to jump on these things and it's kind of a mess, so... Yeah, I'm going to be using Apollo 13 again. Two false R. And it also lets you jump higher when you're bouncing on things. Which is similarly helpful. But yeah, imagine having to do this whole tunnel at full speed with only your normal bounce height uh, falling just as fast as you normally would. It's bad enough with like this, but it's quite doable. Trying to do it with normal physics just does not strike me as a fun time unless that's the kind of thing you're into. Which, yeah. Sometimes a good challenge can be fun, but this just looks punishing. And I'm more in an exploratory mood than in a challenging mood. I want to know what's up here. And the best way of finding out what's up here is to pretty much ensure that I'll actually be able to get up here. Uh, slow time could also come in handy here. And I'm falling. Yeah, we also don't have that trick from Zeus's world where you could hold down to bounce higher. As far as I can tell, that's just completely gone from this game engine. Let's see, there's an exit here, there's an exit over there. There's no coins and gems, so... It looks like the thing is just get to the top and you can pick your exit. Okay. That was kind of neat. I mean, I did suck all the challenge out of it, but... That is super bonus level 9, and that's how it goes. Okay, so from Zeus's world, there was a thing here. There is nothing here in Zeta's world. So, I don't know if that level's been taken out or moved somewhere else or what, but it's kind of weird that it's just not there. Uh, there are two others I know of, but super bonus levels 2, 3, and 8 are not accounted for. And, like I said, I only know where two of the additional levels are. Uh, one of them was here. Uh, this one I tried earlier, couldn't get to as far as I'd like because uh, some of the jumps later on get pretty tricky. So I think what I'm going to do at that point is activate low gravity and kind of cheese it. Until then, let's play legit. Yeah, this has some invisible blocks, which are solid. Even before you touch them, you just can't see them until you touch them. Okay, so I'll leave that there in case I need it later. That is not how you get that gem. And do you have to get in from the this side? You can get up there. But I'm not sure how you can jump that high, or if you can jump that high. And yeah, that's solid. So how are you meant to get to that gem? Maybe bouncing on a bee? I'm not too sure. That's solid. That's solid. Those are solid. Right, this gem, I think you can just drop down from the right side to get to it. Yeah, this is where I had the problem. Alright, so slow fall. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you can only do that once. Because that platform does not come back. 
but if you want full completion, you have to come out there to get those coins. It looks like there was a missing platform between, yeah, like the gray bricks over here. Yeah, that's... You could probably get through that with very careful jumping, or definitely with a weapon. But I'm not sure what the intended method is. Okay, here you jump over to the side, and up. Oh, I think this is makeable without low gravity. Just not easy. I'm pretty sure there's a gem on the left side down there, too. I could really turn low gravity off now and probably be fine, but we'll keep it on for now. And again, low gravity affects your fall speed, not your jump height. I checked and there's some special code for the low gravity dystopia level that also increases your jump height in addition to lowering the gravity. So those are two separate effects. Which is why the code doesn't let you jump higher. I have to think of, yeah, this is the level that had the weird secret exit out to the side, too. I vaguely remembered that from Six's world, and I don't think it actually matters for anything, but it is there. Let's try and jump out to that. The normal exit here is pretty obvious. Yeah, I missed a bunch of stuff early on that I'm not going to bother going back for. I think it's at, like, around here? There. Oh yeah, weird secret exit on this turns out to be Super Bonus Level 3. Uh, the other one I know about was over on the racetrack, and that's the constantly trying to kill you magic thing level. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I think in Six's role I kind of cheesed it by using a lot of invulnerabilities and hearts. So maybe we'll do that again. Or was it here? This corner. Yeah, this is just rude. And as far as I know, there's no invulnerability cheat code. Because if there is, you could be sure I'd be using it. It does at least help if things aren't moving as fast as they do in Six's world, but... Yeah. You can see why I don't like this level. It is creative in its own way, but yeah. And that can go right through walls, so yeah. Here we are falling. And that's not as bad as it could be. Although they are getting a little stuck. Yeah, I'm going to run out of health at this rate. Oh, it didn't load into the slot I had active, that's why. Yeah. Okay, I've been stocked up in Bond Road Blade Books from Earth Girl 2, so let's cheese the heck out of this level once I find it again. I'll try not to use them until I need to. Like here. I'm still taking damage. From the saws? That's kind of rude. At least the magic's not hurting me, but... That's... yeah. Okay, if I jump a little there, I kind of misdirects it just enough to sneak by. Uh, yeah, apparently invulnerability does not protect you against saws. Which is weird. And there I just kind of fell through the floor, probably because I was still standing on the falling box. Yeah, 
here. I'm going to pop the invulnerability to go on the... And yeah, I'm killed by Saws. Hmm. Well, if my chasing this methods don't work, then yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to bother with it because that's just a pain. I'm gonna go see if I can find that other super secret level. Hopefully it still exists somewhere. As I checked all over this bridge and you can't go up or down from here, there's nothing when you press the button. Uh, I checked the other bridge below, same thing. I don't know where else it could be, and there you're just moving automatically, so you can't go any from there. I'm pretty sure that's just a decoration out to the left. Yeah, might as well refill on hearts. Well, actually, a mix of hearts and invincibility might work better for that other level. Yeah, I'll give it one more try. I kind of have the hang of bouncing on this thing, so... That's a start. Oh, and there's invisible box at the top of the stage, too. Okay. I don't like it, but that's what this stage is. Just a bunch of do not like. Pretty much out of hearts already, though. And not even close to the end. Okay, here you just want to come up the right side. Little hop to misdirect that. That didn't work that time. But there are plenty of hearts here, so... Not an issue yet. I missed that blue heart. That would have been nice. Come on, get down there. I'm pretty much, uh, yeah. I'm not making it this time. It's just not happening. Yeah, how were you supposed to get through that? Would a low gravity help? I don't even know. Yeah, I'm calling it now. I'm not getting through this all. Alright, I've looked all over the map, but I can't find anything different. So I'll give this one more try with full hearts and see if maybe I can get to something. It looks like on this part you want to go up the right side at the top. Or maybe I'm thinking of the next part. Okay, yeah, it is this next part. This is where you want to come up the right side. And it's squeezed between the saws here. It gets you up to the top. So far, so good. But I feel like the latter part of the stage is where it gets hard. Now, there's a blue heart in the middle there, which I can't hold, so... But at least this time I remembered it. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to get through that without taking a ton of damage. That would probably be a good, good place for an invincibility if I had one. Right here I want to go to the side and kind of rush through this. Come on. I switched items. At least I thought I did. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through that part, 
and I am sick of trying. So I guess next time we'll go into the Christmas levels and that will quite possibly be the conclusion. I'm undecided. And then there's this thing here. I was able to get this open, but it doesn't seem to do anything. So possibly it was just never finished, or possibly I need to do something else to unlock that, and I don't know what. So, hmm. Well, until next time, this has been Arafel and Bling Zeta's World. I don't know if I've come across something you were never supposed to unlock there, or if I'm just missing something about how you're supposed to unlock it, or what? And I seem to be missing a super bonus stage somewhere. The water level that was in Zeus's world that was on the bridge in Metropolis is just not there, and it doesn't seem to have been moved either, so I have no idea.